Welcome back, film bugs, to another exciting journey into the world of film and entertainment. I'm your host, Lila Filmington. Join us as we delve into the spine chilling world of the 2004 Philippine horror film, Feng Shui, and count down its top 10 scariest moments. Starring Chris Aquino as Joy Ramirez, directed by Cheeto S. Rano, and co written by Roy Iglesias. This supernatural thriller revolves around a cursed Bagua mirror that brings doom to those who gaze into it, with their demise intricately tied to their Chinese zodiac signs. The film, with its gripping narrative, grossed an impressive 114,236,563 pesos and claimed the title of the highest grossing film in the Philippines for the year 2004. Notably, its success paved the way for a sequel, Feng Shui 2, which was released on December 25, 2014, as the official entry to the 2014 Metro Manila Film Festival. Before we delve into the hair-raising moments of Feng Shui, let me provide a brief overview of how the Bagua Mirror's luck curse mechanism unfolds. Beware, as this explanation contains spoilers. <laughs> If you haven't indulged in the horror yet, you can easily get your hands on the movie through platforms like Amazon or Apple, perhaps even at your local blockbuster. <laughs> Just kidding. Those are a thing of the past, and some of you might not even be familiar with such relics. Here's the lowdown. When the current owner of the accursed Bagua mirror not only receives, but crucially accepts some form of gift or luck into their life, those unfortunate souls who recently gazed into the mirror are screwed. Consider, for example, an individual born in the year of the rat according to the Chinese zodiac. 1960, 1972, 1984, 1996, 2008, and so forth. If you're curious about all the years or other signs in the Chinese zodiac, feel free to explore them online, as listing them all here would be quite time-consuming. So if your zodiac sign is the rat, your demise will be intricately linked to rats. Picture this, succumbing to maybe the Black Plague, which was associated with rats, ingesting and dying from something that has a rat label on it, or falling victim to someone who happened to be sporting a rat tattoo on their arm, and the list goes on. And your only reprieve is if the owner of the mirror chose not to accept the ominous gift. Crystal clear? Crystal. Let's kick off the countdown, starting with our honorable mentions, the Gecko Jump Scare. It served as a delightful little jolt to set the tone for the movie, and the moment when Joy and her two-time and no-good husband, Inton, played by Jay Manalo, were scrutinizing the security guard's recently recorded video footage of their home. They were taken aback upon spotting two unfamiliar individuals upstairs, despite being certain that they were the only ones present in the house at that time. At number 10, we have Denton's basketball mysteriously bouncing and vanishing into the ceiling, only to make a dramatic reappearance cascading down the stairs toward Joy later in the movie. Next in line at number 9, Joy's encounter with the apparition of Ah Ling Burring at her funeral. Up next, taking the eighth spot, is the eerie manifestation of Mung Nestor's ghost appearing in the window as Billy and Joy share a meal. Securing the seventh spot is the moment when the ghosts finally revealing themselves to Joy's two timon, low earning, no good husband Inton, and their unsuspecting kids. Taking the spotlight at number six, Joy's chilling encounter as she witnesses the recently departed security guard standing beside her kids, only to later stroll into their home. Securing the fifth position, witness Joy's initial attempt to shatter the Baga mirror, 
abruptly halted by the ghostly intervention of Alice. Progressing to the fourth spot. Following Joy's loss of consciousness upon encountering Alice's ghost, she found herself lying on the Bagua mirror, slightly awake. In this hazy state, she faintly observed the reflections of all the ghosts in the mirror. Evart, Mung Nestor, Aling Burring, the security guard, and Lotus Feet. Securing the third position in our countdown, the gripping scene featuring Alice, portrayed by Lot Lot de Leon, who finds herself face to face with the old Lotus Feet Lady, dragging Alice's future lifeless body. As if that weren't enough, she was then pursued by the town drunkard, leading to a dramatic sequence where she's pushed over the balcony and meets her demise, landing atop cases of red horse beer. Uh oh. I hear an advertisement seems to be brewing. <laughs> Claiming the second spot is the startling manifestation of the weeping ghost of Alice during the mini seance conducted by the three kids. And the first and final scariest moment of the movie, Feng Shui, is the final reveal. Resisting an irresistible offer of 10 million smackaroos for the cursed Bagua mirror, she ultimately shatters the accursed object. As her kids and Thelma, portrayed by Ilona Jean, return home, concluding the story with what seems like a happy ending. But hold on, there's one more surprise lurking in the house. Upon entering, they unveil the unexpected guest. None other than her two-timing, low-earning, no-good ass of a husband, Inton. <laughs> Alive and well? Or is he? I mean, wasn't he deader than dead, propelled about 137 feet into the air after being gunned down by his booty call Dina's husband? I can't help but chuckle at the comical distance they flew. Nevertheless, He's back. And then it hits Joy like a ton of bricks. Her kids and her friend all perished in a tragic traffic collision. And that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 scariest moments from the movie Feng Shui. A huge shout out to everyone who showed love for our previous video, Shake, Rattle, and Roll to Review with 1,400 views within a week. While it might not be a massive number by YouTube standards, it truly means the world to us. Thank you immensely. We hope you enjoyed our latest video. Share your thoughts on Feng Shui and tell us about your favorite spine-tingling moments in the film in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing, and hitting the bell icon to stay updated on our upcoming content. Your support makes a significant difference. Stay connected, film bugs. And until next time, this is Lila signing off. Pa'alam. Ah, I love these shoes. It feels like I'm walking on the clouds. Okay,